Exome sequencing is identifying new diseases about which we know very little. This kind of genetic testing is at the heart of the President's Precision Medicine Initiative and has enormous promise to transform medical practice. However, it is being threatened by the very agency tasked with protecting the public's health, the Food and Drug Administration, which has proposed regulation for laboratory-developed tests. LDTs are currently regulated by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services under CLIA, or the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendment. The labs performing these tests are also overseen by state departments of health and often are certified by the College of American Pathologists. Dr. James Evans directs the Clinical Adult and Cancer Genetics Service at the University of North Carolina, where he has made great strides in patient diagnosis and treatment by using LDTs. He is concerned about the impact of too much regulation on the development and availability of these tests. Regulation is tricky and we have to get it right. Too little regulation can, can result in errors, can result in poor tests and, and patient suffering. But too much regulation can be problematic too. And too much regulation can stifle innovation. For some parents, like Laura and Kevin Buchanan of Nightdale, North Carolina, a laboratory-developed test was the only way they could get insight into their son Fletcher's condition, so they could begin appropriate treatment and learn what to expect down the line. He has autism, he has ADHD, he has eosinophilic esophagitis, he has Kohler's disease. And see, his failure to thrive was part of his genetic syndrome. And if we had known that when he was born, it would have been able, better able to, to understand what was going on, but you've got a child that's dying right before your eyes, losing weight, and you don't have any answers from anybody. Yeah, I think that I think what comes out of that statement is the earlier that you can get this type yes. of testing, uh -huh. the better off your child's going to be. Yeah. Because of these tests, Sandra Sermoni of Vancouver, Washington, now knows why her son Tony's brain had atrophied and can get the proper services for him thanks to whole exome sequencing, an innovative LDT. If we didn't have this genetic testing, we would still be unsure with what's going on with our son, and we wouldn't know why his brain was shrinking. We would probably have him seen by neurology every month doing sedated brain scans, tracking to see if his brain was shrinking. Now. We know what's causing many of his problems and we know what to look for now. So we can now get the services we need because we have a diagnosis. Without a diagnosis, you can't get services for many things. Regulation by the FDA will cause parents undue anguish and delay as they pursue the correct diagnosis and proper treatment for their ill children. One of the women that I know who has a syndrome like my son didn't know her child had a heart defect. and It was so severe that she's getting heart surgery next month. But she wouldn't have known it without this genetic testing. So it's very important. And if you put a delay on that whole, her child's having their surgery next month. Could you imagine if she had to wait a year for the test?